Hi, Brian here with Simple Homesteading. Today, we're gonna to show you how to take care of strawberry runners. If you've ever grown strawberries before, if you're growing strawberries for the first time, you kind of wonder, what do you do with those things that are coming off the strawberries that have little long strings? Well, those are important things for you to end up growing new strawberry plants. So we're gonna take a moment here just to show you how to replant your runners. Very quickly, let's just describe what a runner is. A strawberry plant will send off a long, um, what seems to be like another branch, like it's got leaves coming off, but what'll happen, it'll, it'll end up terminating into something like this. This is called a runner. Matter of fact, you see that this runner has several terminations as it makes its way down. These are going to be your new strawberry plants. As a matter of fact, uh, you should be replicating your strawberry plants every three years. Uh, the strawberries end up exhausting themselves out after about a three to four year period, and you should end up getting rid of the old plants and um, making sure that you've got new ones. Now, a new way to make sure that you've got new ones is to just plant the runners. That's a cheap way to do it, I should say. Uh, you can go out and buy new strawberry plants. It probably would be good because these are just gonna be replicas of the parent plant, and so you might wanna put uh, fresh new stock in. But if you wanna continue to thicken your bed up, if you wanna continue to uh, keep having strawberries without any cost to you, uh, you can replant those runners. It's not very difficult. I'm gonna take a second here, break, and then go over to Lynn and she'll show you how this is done. So we're cleaning up our boxes right now, getting a lot of the dead stuff off and a lot of the um, uh, kind of rusted leaves off and getting the boxes ready for late season. Um, like we saw before, you've got little runners here and what you wanna do is you wanna take these runners. Some of them will have started roots already, but um, uh, the plant, the strawberry plants are trying to propagate themselves. They send out these little runners to find uh, fertile ground to get into and then put themselves in. So what you wanna do is uh, you wanna take a plant like this that's got several leaves. Uh, this is about ready to root. You don't really see the roots on here yet. These are a little young yet. They've gotta get a little larger. And what you're going to do is you're gonna just, uh, if you're planting in containers like this, just take this and you're gonna make a little area or a little indentation, push this into the ground, push this into the ground and get it planted. Now sometimes it'll pull itself back up. You can take um, a skewer cut a skewer in thirds and then uh, make uh, two little um, cuts um, uh, in it on the top, kind of turn it into a, a, a U staple and staple those back down in uh, there. You can use bobby pins. There's all kinds of things you can use to kind of hold that runner down. And uh, we'll show you here in just a minute, but uh, what Lynn and I are doing, we're just taking the time to clean the plants up, clean the boxes off, push those runners, uh, push those runners down into the ground and uh, keep them moving because we wanna end up filling these boxes all the way up. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, strawberry plants, after about three to four years, uh, the production goes down, the berries don't get big anymore, and so you wanna start thinning those out. And one of the ways you can do that is um, uh, taking your runners, planting those, and then as the older plants um, uh, end up not producing, pull those out or off. And then if you wanna add uh, kind of a, a new set of a uh, DNA into your box, you can go get uh, maybe some strawberry plants from the store and plant those in here too. But if you're wanting to save yourself money, you can just simply work off your runners. However, again, if you have a, a persistent problem with disease or, or some sort of other defect, you wanna make sure that you pull those plants out, get rid of those, and then plant them with something fresh. That's it, that's as simple as it is. We'll, uh, we'll um, maybe show you here. Lynn, do you have one ready right now that you can push into the ground? I mean, not that it's incredibly overly difficult. <laughs> Make a hole, push it in, cover it up. Okay. You want to, you do want to cut um, this extra part off the end here. So, if you're going to snip that off, we're going to toss that. She's just going to take that, push that into the ground. And again, if it doesn't stay really well, we can end up getting a bobby pin or something in there. And you want to keep that connected to the mother plant so it continues to get nutrition. And then eventually you'll come back, you'll check your boxes again. And once that's established really nice, you're going to want to clip that um, so it ends up uh, forming its own plant. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching.